So real quick before the video starts, if you guys enjoy it, remember to leave a like, and if you want to see more like it, remember to subscribe. Anyway, today I'm back on MAX, and we're going to be talking about part two of the Halloween event, starting off with some of the changes to candy farming. As you can see here, my AFK setup is completely different to what it was from last time, and that's because they've added a whole bunch of items for farming. First of all, all of the Halloween items, all of the sacreds that you could get, the collectible items, stuff that you could get from the ghost and pumpkin boxes, and even the heavenly items even like the cauldrons that you get for candy completion milestones. All of these items now have a candy value add. This might seem like a lot to remember, but there is a very easy way to find all of the candy items. If you go into your inventory and type in candy, it'll come back with every item that has a candy value add. You might have some items in your inventory that don't have a candy add, but you can just right click on your items and inspect them. And if it does have a candy upgrade, it'll say candy upgrade in the tags and it'll specifically say candy corn. And if you inspect an item that doesn't have that upgrade, it won't have the tag, meaning it won't do anything in your candy setup. They also made it so that every single upgrader is now a value add. There are no multipliers, meaning the upgrade order in your setup does not matter. Now in the marketplace, they also added some new items for farming. They've got the candy crate and candy store, which is a mine and furnace meaning you don't have to reincarnate to AFK farm now. They've got some general upgraders that help out. They've got a new sugar stone drill. This has a 20 candy value, which makes it the best mine for farming. And they also added a new furnace, which has a two times multiplier, which makes it the best furnace. They did change it so that it processes every one minute instead of every 30 seconds now, which makes it a little bit slower, but the total amount of candy you can get is higher still, meaning rates are buffed. And outside of the candy shop, there were a couple of other items that were added. A new collectible, which I'll talk about in a second, a new limited reincarnation, and there's a new tier of item, which is limited galactic. These are effectively limited reincarnations that have a prestige requirement, like the angsty puny anglerfish requires you to be prestige 3. And both of the limited galactics added also have a candy add, and the ultra versions of them have a slight buff. And with every single candy upgrader that you can use, you're going to be making around 300 candy. I'm getting 310 right now with a few of the ultras. Before the update, I was making about 180 candy a minute, which means the rates, if you have every item, are a little under two times faster. Now, with all that being said, there is another method of farming candy, which is actually significantly faster than anything else in the game. This requires you to travel to town square, and if you don't know how to get there, go into your settings, go into graphics, and if you go into hub, map indicators, and hit all, look for Kryptos, you can go up and interact with him, he'll bring you to a fast travel menu, you can just select town square, travel straight there. Once you get here, you'll probably notice that some of the houses have purple lights in their windows. All of these can be interacted with. If you go up to the door, you can knock on it, and a trick-or-treater will come out and give you some candy. Now, I'm going to go through the town real quick, starting up by the clock tower here next to the base, and show you all of the different house locations. Every time you interact with one of them, you'll get a few hundred candy. I'd say it averages out to about 700 a house. Once you interact with the door, it'll stay open for a minute or two, then it'll close, and you can go and interact with it again, meaning you can just loop around the town and keep knocking on doors and getting candy. It's also worth mentioning that there are no prior requirements. You can just travel here and interact with the doors no matter what life you are, no matter where you're at in the game. It's a very accessible method of farming. Most of the trick-or-treaters don't need any interaction beyond just knocking on the door, but there is one, the band skeleton, which when he shows up, will fall into pieces and you have to go and interact with all of the bones and those will give you the candy. There are also a couple of trick-or-treaters that'll give you items. You've got the Gnerdy Gnome, which gives you an industrial smelter. And there's also Benjaminion, which will give you the Androdic Quantifier. I do also have a couple of small tips for you. One of the most important ones is to play in a solo server while you're doing this. The trick-or-treaters are not client-side, which means if anybody else is in the server and they interact with the doors, you won't be able to until they're off cooldown. So if anybody in your server is trying to candy farm at the same time as you, the rates are going to be significantly lower for both of you. So definitely make sure to play in a solo server while you're doing this, and I also recommend trying to rejoin until you get your base to spawn on the Town Square Island. Main reason for that being you can leave your AFK candy set up loaded in, and you'll be making a little bit of extra candy every minute on top of the candy you're getting from trick-or-treating. Now, that's everything that changed with part two, but Surfline did say that there would probably be more Halloween content still coming. So even though in this update we didn't get any new presents, there's still a chance that we get some new stuff, so you might still need to do some candy farming even after you get everything from this part. We do also know that the update's 
it's going to be ending on November 17th now, which means you've got a decent amount of time still to earn everything. That's all I've got for you today, though. Thank you, everyone, for watching. I appreciate you checking out the video. Hopefully, you found it helpful. Hopefully, your candy farming is going a lot smoother now that we've got a much better method added into the game. Anyway, though, thank you again, everyone, for watching. Really appreciate the support. I will see you around. Peace out, everyone.